about it. Okay. This is my new neck annealing tool that I've made. It can be uh, a real indispensable thing if you have to really anneal very many cases. It's meant to be put into a drill like this one. And after that, a case is put in and heating will start uh, with a propane torch of the, uh, the neck area and the shoulder area heated to a dull red only and then after it's the correct temperature or, or seems to be the right color indication the case is dropped right into cold water which will do the annealing uh, if you don't know about annealing uh, I suggest you look it up uh, and find out how copper is actually annealed by quenching uh, this particular model I've made uh, initially will handle any case based on 30-06 and with the uh, short stop pin uh, installed it'll also handle uh, the 308 case which is a good thing to have uh, meaning that you don't need a second one of these uh, in order to, to handle one additional caliber certainly in that uh, regard what this does by putting it into the drill it protects the drill this gets really hot, and uh, I know of people, I've seen them on the internet, they take a case and they put it in here, and, uh, you know, you see by the time you've heated this and you drop it out, you've actually heated up your drill quite a bit. Now, I make these in other calibers like Magnum, and I've got uh, 270 WSM here. So far, I haven't made anything for 223, but I could. And that's basically it. You get uh, you get a pretty uh, good uh, thing, uh, you know, when you buy this from me. Uh, it's out there. I'm selling it on, if you remember, the City by the Bay. Uh, you can look this up and you'll find it without any trouble at all. So, with that, let's go ahead and demonstrate how this actually works. So in order to do this correctly, we're going to do it in subdued light. So first I'll set the shop lights out. Then we'll run the drill. That's about it. Okay. Turn the torch off. Let's turn the lights back on. Turn on the overhead here. And we'll get this out of here. Just don't want to get my hands any wetter since I might have to do more. This should be good and cool. Now, if you don't have shop air or compressed air, you can get a can of this anywhere. I get mine at the big box shop. You don't want to cool it too much. You just want to get it dry. I can already tell it was a good job, and I'll show you here in just a second. I like them nice and dry. No reason not to have it dry. That's probably about it. You can let them sit for a day in a desiccant if you prefer. Now, let's see if I can zoom in here. You see that? It's got a very nice little ripple on down. We haven't done too much heating to deform anything. The rest of the case, this is still actually a pretty good case. I think it was once fired. Now, I supply some written instructions with this, and in there I give you my various ideas, and some based on years of experience, some on opinion. But I would anneal a case after about the fourth use. And there's a reason for that. If you're doing a lot of shooting and reloading, and this being 30-06, I used to do a lot of this. Um, then, you know, you're getting the aging process, you're catching it, and uh, you don't do any resizing. You only do the decapping first, then you do the annealing, then you do the trimming, and you may have to do some outside neck turning. And from what I have found, there's only one time in the case's life that you would do the outside neck turning. 
once and only one time. If you do that and you find a routine that works for you, then it should last for about 10 reloads.